What's good, everyone? We're back with season two of Kenshi and the Robo Bros. I am speaking in post. Look at all this stuff. We're, we're not going after those two bounties today, tomorrow, tonight, some days. But now we're looking at stuff. We're doing stuff. We're having Chad pick up Agnew. We're going to New Kralia where we're going to find ourselves a bounty. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Going on a long, long journey. Going, oh, yeah, uh, before recording this, I, uh, uh, someone may have gone on a food binge and found themselves surrounded by bandits. And yes, it is the Shreks. And yes, you guessed it, it was Bo. So anyway, I don't know what to do, cause I'm in post. Uh, and you might notice that things are a little, a little faster than normal. Maybe the volume is a bit different than normal. But oh yeah, here, here we're running into contact with some more nerds. Uh, yeah. Well, after finishing the recording, my computer crashed, and so I did the same thing with the whole uh, with uh, WWE 2K. 20 episode whatever universe mode and now I'm just like but but this time uh, there's no other person commentating so that I just leave myself out there uh, no I'm just gonna commentate and post and now we're back to new Kralia and over here we have Catlon Catlon about to about to make murder some people oh yeah baby look at Catlon go well, oh yeah and the spiders files Boralis uh, Peter Barker. We can see Catlon in his full glory, but uh, honestly, I, we, we don't care about that. We know how that's going to end. Wow, look, nothing. That, that only took a couple of seconds. Here's some material traders, and we're going to buy their cactus. We're going to buy their like materials and stuff and their food. Well, I forgot that Catlon doesn't have... Catlon doesn't have any backpack on him. And with that out of the way, we're going to leave this Robo Spiders outside. We go back to uh, your boys in Agnew, B, Pimpo, Seto, and Shad. Uh, Beast Trader has arrived at the weed farm, but we don't really care about no beast farmers, traders, whatever. And as you can see, we are approaching the good old fortress of the original robot land where there really isn't anything useful there it, it's just it was just a place for us to hang out and they're like yeah, and I went back here because I don't know oh yeah I want to put uh, I want to put like a heavy backpack on fish so that he can gain like super strength over time yeah and there I pick up like a, a little backpack but the little backpack doesn't have much in it and so I went to make him go fill that backpack. Wow, ingenious. Though I put too much rock in the backpack. And now, fish will walk for the ages. Yeah, there's these nerds. Let's focus on these nerds. Oh yeah, they're walking, walking, walking. And right about here? Here? No, here. Here, here, warning, Shrek challenge coming for the robot land. And I'm all like, well, it's going to take us forever to get to a new Kralia, so might as well, like, take up the challenge, you know? And here's probably the biggest surprise I think I've ever done. Uh, not dropping the backpack in the wall, because that, that, see that guy right up there? Uh, I had Chad put him down, Agnew's up there. Well, we are, and I was like, Wow, we are, we're screwed beyond belief. Agnew's like, a Agnew's a robot. He's a killbot. He's essentially the boy's only source of income. I try to pick Agnew up from the ground, but, but it doesn't work. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, fine. We need to make like a quick, uh, a quick trip to uh, a store and build like a ramp. And then guess what? You're not going to believe this. But the ramp works! 
without even finishing it, the ramp works. What, what, what's even the point of building it if, if people can just walk onto it? I, I don't get it. You get it. Anyway, uh, we bring the whole band back together. We're like, oh, th th this will take a while. Uh, might as well just, like, you know, get Chad some strength up to pass the time. And just a reminder, I haven't cut any part out. I, the only thing I've edited so far was I, I changed the speed to two times the speed, so things are more faster. So there's no cut. Here's here's some like training action that I normally do. Well, not normally do, but well, if you're going to wait in one place, just just have your buddies like walk around a bunch. That that normally just builds up character, saves successful, and. I believe, I believe, I, I honestly cannot see that well from uh, this type of position. Can I, can I get a better view? No, I need that player. Yeah, it's just one person, the, the first one to enter the arena. One person, we can't hit them for some reason, and they're like, oh, oh, and then he goes after B, B going willy-nilly, Bo Billy. Uh, on him. Oh, and he's down immediately, or she's down immediately. And then I have Chad drop his thing. And then Beep goes to take a nap because, of course, that's what Beep does. And then I'm like on the verge of, oh, okay, should I wait or should I like? Up oh, here they come. Here they come. Bo took some. Was that? No, no, that was just. I think I just had that one Shrek like healed up. And we get these boys attacking. It honestly doesn't work. Here comes Beep. And we're easily outnumbered. And here comes Agnew. Y you might be thinking that the hype that I'm giving Agnew uh, is overbearing. That there's no way he can possibly take down all these friggin' Shreks and their super duper health and toughness. And, uh... And they go after, <laughs> and they go after the plastic surgeon tech hunter. Man, that I I didn't I forgot to check how that guy did. And you see, some of the guys are going unconscious. Uh, and I'm trying to get them to move because that's how you build up toughness, getting up from unconscious. But really, that's just uh, if you're playing dead and then you get up immediately, and then they knock themselves out again. That that just gives you like major toughness, you know. I can't. I can't exactly look at the thing as well. Well, actually, I I can. I just need to move this a bit more to the left. Does their toughness go up if I push them up? Yeah, it's them playing dead. And you see, uh, Chad. He goes from like, oh, oh, yeah. That bow went from like 20 to 40. And, and there's like everyone. Everyone's down. Agnes down. It, it's all doomed from the start. And, uh, you may think that this is how I plan to end the episode. You'd be wrong. You'd be wrong because a lot more happens. And as you, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to get out of this, this awful, awful situation. But at the same time, totally great situation for building up my toughness. And I keep having them get up when they're playing dead, and they go back down because they're too close. Yeah, you, you, I'm pretty sure you guys can see the toughness, like, go up by a lot. There's Bo. I'm like, okay, uh, stop getting up. You're gonna, you're all gonna die. Except for maybe Agnew. And I have Chad get up because Chad didn't take a, as big of a beating. And then, and then when everyone else got up, Agnew got up, and we didn't want Agnew to get up. Okay, now everyone, and I think this is the part where I'm like, okay, let them walk away, or not. So yeah, um, how are you today? Uh, I'm doing great, except for the fact that I can't exactly edit the way I would normally edit, and now I just... You, you know, just leave it in the the comments. Uh, d d does post commentary Kenshi work out for us? I honestly feel like it does. 
because I'm because while playing the game, I'm really focused on what's going on that I don't actually say that much. And we have Agnew doing his medical capabilities. I think Bo's knocked unconscious. He's not gonna get up anytime soon. Not until like way later. And I'm not sure if the the other thing happened yet. Uh, if it gave the warning that someone is coming to the robot farm, but oh boy, oh boy, do they come to the robot farm? And I'm like, okay, we have three beds and a bunch of robot beds. Uh, idiot me did not think that I could just put one of them on the robot bed be because I'm like, ugh, beds. In all honesty, I should have like made. Uh, no, I shouldn't have made beds. This. This is an uninhabitable area, and it's only inhabitable to robots. It's mainly just a place where I have ha had the Robo Bros like heal themselves up at the beginning of it all. Man, the good old Robot Land looking good. Nothing can go wrong in the Robot Land. Nothing at all. Not a single, and here he is, the mighty Canhead. Oh no, the cannibals are after us. And I'm like, okay, quickly, quickly, close the door. And they're like, no, you can't do that. I'm like, oh, we are doomed. Bring it, bring in the hub. So it, it's Agnew essentially versus a bunch of cannibals. So I'm like, okay, close the door. If the door is closed and I block them they won't get in and then I'm like wait a minute this is Kenshi of course they'll get in they'll friggin glitch through the door because I punched them in and they're already in and they're like oh, okay uh now that we're inside where martial arts is like super powerful and our weapons don't do aren't as good and here I have beef coming back from the dead to take on some yeah he does a pretty good job until he gets knocked out and I had Chad get up because Chad's like the next best thing. And they're beating on Seto, so I had Seto get up. Oh, no, wait. They didn't beat on Seto. They just straight up kidnapped Seto. And this is like really, really intense that I'm really just focusing on the humans. Because I know that if uh, if this was just like a, a the Robo Bros back at it together, that they 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 just massacre these boys. I don't even think they'd get a hit if they were fighting the trained martial arts of the Robo Bros, but they're at least dealing with ignore this. It, it, completely ignore this. This is uh, unrelated to, to to the fight. Uh, ha has nothing to do with Beef potentially losing limbs, though in all honesty, he, he wasn't even close to losing the limb. But, uh, you know, you, you know come see, come saw, as I like to say. And now it's all down to Agnew, and as you'd expect, Agnew is kicking butt, but will the Robo Bros from the hub make it in time? Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. I know. Of course, Agnew just straight up kills everyone. Some people are, some people die standing up. That guy right there, he just, he was standing up for a couple seconds. It was like that whole, uh, Fist of the North Star thing where he's like you're already dead and then he's like what and then he falls collapses over dead uh, that's my favorite thing about Kenshi is that you can hit someone so hard that they die and they won't even realize that they've been killed anyway let's look back at Bo Bo is like ha hasn't even been touched but Bo's still unconscious so there's not much you can do about that and as you can see, and Agnew has dwindled down the numbers by himself. So, in all honesty, we didn't need the, the the hub boys to come in at all for this. So, yeah. And there you have it. Agnew practically single-handedly took on uh, the mighty Canhead army. And there, I just like trapped some guy in the corner. And now, uh, did you know that? The skeleton repair beds also bandage your teammates. Yeah, I know. Pretty weird. So the cannibals like crawl their way out of the place, and uh, you just like slim and stuff. And I'm all like, uh, you guys should probably like 
go to sleep. Except Agnew, you, you can just rest in the bed. <laughs> and I had Agnew kill out the people, and uh, yeah, that was season two, episode two of the Robo Bros. Tune in next time when I still have to re-record this because this recording was two episodes long. Mm, see ya.